Hi, I'm John O'Leonard from Electric Scooter Shop. Now, there's been a lot in the news lately about um, scooter batteries, scooter chargers, scooter battery fires. Um, I was invited on to three news myself a few days ago. And if you use an incorrectly matched charger and it turns out that you're putting in too much voltage or it's a cheap charger and it's not able to manage the voltage it's putting into the battery, it can it can destabilize the chemical composition of the batteries and those batteries do contain all the elements to self-combust. Scooter explosions aren't common in New Zealand, but cost-conscious Kiwis can be guilty of using dangerous chargers. People are, are buying um, cheap chargers off Alibaba and not knowing that it's the whether or not it's going to put out the correct voltage. And uh, although some of what I covered made it into the program, some was cut out for the sake of brevity and the and the uh, the, the shortness of the news program. So I'm going to cover a little bit more here about batteries and chargers just to give you a bit, little bit more of an in-depth uh, look and see. Now, let's look first of all at what a battery is. Um, batteries come in, um, they're a big rectangular block of a thing. Um, inside you'll see a number of different cells. They look very much like AA batteries. These cells are uh, spot welded together in a lattice connecting network and they have a BMS, a battery management system, installed in that pack as well. Um, these batteries have a label on them that will turn red if it touches water, as this one has here. Uh, this has come out of a, this has been water damaged, it's come out of a defective scooter. But just to give you an idea of that's what a battery looks like. Now, apart from the fact that this battery is not working, from the shape of it, the cells do not appear to be ex exceedingly damaged. However, handling very carefully, this battery, you can see it's swollen in the casing. And the casing itself is even split at the ends here, which is going to let water come in. Uh, this is in a very dangerous condition. This battery should not be used or recharged in any way, shape, or form. There's a very solid chance that this battery will um, become chemically unstable and could very well um, start a spontaneous combustion chemical fire if, if a charge is applied. So very, very dangerous. Do not, this will be disposed of responsibly. Do not recharge a battery in that condition. Now, this is what you're looking for in a battery. Uh, quality control sticker is ideal. Source of the cells would be perfect. This one's LG cells, LG, Panasonic, Samsung, your three top quality cell producers. We do see some very good batteries made with Chinese generic cells as well. We also see some very poor ones. And the, your, your, best, your best bet is to buy uh, a, a whole scooter, and obviously that comes with a battery, from a reputable manufacturer who's not going to take a chance with dodgy cells. They can't risk, they can't risk their reputation with um, fires and combustion, etc. So um, buy, a good, buy a good brand of product. This one's out of a Cabo Mantis and should also have the warnings and the uh, also the safety certification that it's tested to marks on the battery itself. Moving on to chargers. This charger, this is a scooter charger. It would have a cable linking it to the wall as well. This bit plugs into the scooter. Um, on the back of the charger, it will tell you the um, charging voltage it puts out, and each battery is needs to be charged with a ideally matched charger. Uh, if it's a this is for this is a 54 volt charger, so this would be for a 48 volt battery. You're always going to have a little bit of um, a higher charger voltage than a battery voltage, otherwise it won't get that final uh, those that final charge into the battery. Now these will warm up when they're charging. That's perfectly normal, and um, they need to be kept in a ventilated area on a on a hard surface for that with that in mind do not charge on a on a big fat pile fluffy rug covered with a sheepskin on top of the charger you're asking for trouble um, they will turn off when they finish charging if they're properly manufactured uh, you'll have a red light when it's charging a green light when it's fully charged and then it'll turn off and cool down do not leave it plugged in for days on end of course if that turn off mechanism doesn't function correctly if you're using an incorrect charger then the chances are that um, there's a higher the higher chance you could cause some sort of issue. Um, you must use the correct voltage charger for your battery. If you're overcharging it because it's a mismatched charger or because the charger is defective and it's putting out incorrect voltage, then you can destabilize the chemical composition of the batteries and they do have all the elements required for self-combustion. And a lithium ion battery fire is very fierce, and very, very hot. So that is to be expressly avoided. Do not use mismatched chargers. Do not buy any old charger off AliExpress or trade me and hope that it's going, to, it's going to be a good match for your scooter, please go to the manufacturer and please, please, please buy the correctly matched charger for your scooter. So we've covered a bit about charging practice, obviously charging in a ventilated area. 
All manufacturers will say, do not charge your scooter unattended. And I'd be fairly certain that that same warning is on vacuum cleaners, phones, computers, power tools, anything that's got a lithium ion rechargeable battery. Your best practice, of course, is to, um, to charge things while you're awake in a ventilated area, away from a living area, um, and on a hard surface. Concrete is perfect. Um, and then if the worst thing happened and you were to get a, a, um, a, you know, a damaged product that caused the fire, at least then it's, um, it's more easily dealt with. It's away from living areas and it's not endangering um, human life. Don't put it on charge in a bedroom, on a fluffy carpet, go to sleep, hope for the best, if it, especially if there's any sort of con chance that that's not a high quality item and that um, you know, could, there could potentially be an issue. A lot of these, um, the public fear came from the old days of the very cheap hoverboards. Um, and these things, you could buy them for $250. You imagine the grade of the battery in that. Um, even one of these smaller batteries, you're, you're still looking at sort of 400 bucks or so for one of those batteries. It is by far the most imp important and the most expensive component of an electric scooter. And the reasons that they're, that they're dear is because you cannot buy good quality cells for cheap. This, that just does not work and they do not exist. So if you're buying a very, very cheap battery, I can guarantee you're buying cheap cells, those cells are not stable and that battery has the potential to be extremely dangerous. So if you need any more information, do contact us at the shop. You can email us, sales at electricscootershop.co.nz or give us a call 09-445-6969. Stay safe out there, follow best charging practices. And if you, um, yep, we look forward to seeing you at the shop. So hit us up anytime you need us. Thanks for watching.